Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will show you the document assembly. With this feature, you can now gather forms, letters, and documents, and combine them into a single PDF. Let us log into the caseworker portal. We will then go to a case we are near completion. Let us locate a case profile. Once inside the case profile, you will notice a tab to the right called Document Assembly. Let us click on it. From here, we will now assemble a document by clicking on New. You will then be asked to name the document and click on Save Changes. Once you name it, you will now see an area to the left where you can choose forms, letters, and documents. You will proceed to select the forms, documents, and letters you wish to add by clicking on the checkbox to the left. Once you have those documents selected, you will click on the arrow, which will then place it on the table to the right. From here, you have a couple options. The first is you can add a custom page if you'd like. This is if you wish to add any last minute pages on the document. Once you typed out your message here, you can click on Save Changes. Please note, if you wish to have similar custom pages for future forms, it would be better to create a letter template of this message as opposed to a custom page. That way, you can pull the message on every case. Below is a link on how to create letter templates. Once you have your desired forms and documents on here, you can then decide the order of these documents. To move an item, you can simply click on the item, drag it, and drop it in the order you wish. Besides dragging and dropping these items, you can also nest an item, meaning I can make an item be a subsection of another item. This will come in handy in a bit. If you need to delete things, you can click on the X button. If you need to add additional documents and forms, you can go back to the section to the left, locate the item, and click the arrow to the right. Lastly, if you wish to unnest a document, you can click on the nest icon. Once I have the exact order, I can then proceed to add a table of contents. When adding a table of contents, a pop-up will appear with your items listed. You can proceed to add more text if you wish. On the page section, you do not need to change this, as the software will automatically list the page number when you receive the PDF. Additionally, if you remember, we nested some items to be a subsection of a bigger item. This will also reflect on the table of contents. Once you have your table of contents set, you can finalize by clicking Save Changes. If you need to make an edit again, on the table of contents, you can click the Edit button. Please note that if you make further changes to documents assembled, the table of contents will reset. We recommend adding the table of contents once you are done assembling. Our document has been assembled and we are ready to email this to ourselves. We will now click on the Email Document Assembly button. A pop-up will appear where we can enter a subject, select recipients of this email. You can decide to add a footer number at the bottom of each page and a footer caption. This will add a footer through every page of the document. Lastly, you can select a letter template to email or manually type out a message of the email. You will finalize by clicking email. Once you do that, you will then receive an email with the PDF attachment. From here, you will download it to your computer, save it, and print it if need be. If you review the PDF, you will see the table of contents. You will see the page numbers have been added if you added the footer number and you will see the PDF in the exact order you dictated earlier. If you ever need to come back to this document assembly, you can go back to the case, go back to the document assembly section. This time, you will click on the drop-down menu. It will gather previous document assemblies you've created. If you need to create a new one, you can click on New and repeat the steps learned on this video. This concludes our video on the document assembly.